The Exile Introduction to the Exile The kingdoms of Israel and Judah were repeatedly warned by prophets about their unfaithfulness to God. Despite these warnings, both kingdoms fell. Israel, the north, to Assyria in 722 BC, and Judah, the south, to Babylon in 587 BC. This segment explores the reasons behind their exile, the signs of hope for the future, and the prediction of a new covenant found in the visions of Daniel and the messages of Jeremiah and Ezekiel. It also addresses the future significance of the foreigners sent to live in Samaria. Assyrians take Israel into captivity, 722 BC. The Assyrian captivity marked a significant period in Jewish history. The northern kingdom of Israel was conquered by the Neo-Assyrian monarch Tiglath Pileser III and Shalmaneser V. Subsequent rulers Sargon II and his son Sennacherib completed the conquest, resulting in the exile of the ten northern tribes, later known as the Ten Lost Tribes. Although Jerusalem was besieged, it was not captured, sparing the southern kingdom for the time being. Babylonian Exile, Judah, 587 BCE The Babylonian captivity began after the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BCE, when Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem, leading to tributes from King Jehoiakim. After Jehoiakim Rebellion, multiple sieges occurred, resulting in the exile of King Jehoiakim, Zedekiah, and many others. These events are dated to 597 BCE, around 587 BCE, and around 582 BCE. The fall of Jerusalem and the destruction of the temple marked a pivotal moment in Jewish history. World Powers and the Exile When Assyria dominated, Israel was captured and exiled northward, sparing Judah under King Hezekiah, who heeded Isaiah's prophecies. However, under Babylonian rule, Judah fell due to King Jeconiah's evil reign. The Babylonians exiled the people, destroyed Jerusalem, and ended the Davidic reign on Judah's throne, fulfilling Jeremiah's prophecy. Supplemental Books During this period, it is beneficial to read Nahum, Habakkuk, Daniel, Ezekiel, Judith, Lamentations, Jeremiah, Zephaniah, and Baruch. These books provide additional context and insight into the events and spiritual conditions of the exile. Segment 1. The Assyrian Exile Assyrians take Israel into captivity, 722 BCE. The Assyrian conquest of the northern kingdom of Israel marked a significant turning point in Jewish history. In 722 BCE, the Assyrian Empire, under the rule of Tiglath Pileser III and later Shalmaneser V, launched a successful military campaign against Israel. The northern kingdom was overrun, and the ten tribes were forcibly relocated to various regions within the Assyrian Empire, a tactic designed to prevent rebellion and assimilate the conquered people into the empire. The Assyrian policy of deportation led to the scattering of the Ten Tribes, who became known historically as the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel. This dispersal not only weakened the political and military strength of Israel, but also had a profound impact on the cultural and religious identity of the Israelites. The loss of their homeland and the separation from the Temple in Jerusalem created a spiritual crisis, compelling the exiled Israelites to find new ways to maintain their faith and tradition in foreign lands. The exact fear of the ten lost tribes remain a topic of historical and religious intrigue. Various theories suggest that these tribes assimilated into other cultures, retaining only remnants of their original identity. Some believe that they integrated into the surrounding populations, while others suggest they immigrated further afield contributing to Jewish communities in regions far from their original homeland. Despite their physical dispersal, 
The member of the Tenlof tribes endured as a symbol of loss and hope within Jewish history and eschatology. World powered Assyria. The Assyrian Empire, known for its military prowess and administrative efficiency, was one of the dominant world powers of the ancient Near East. Its capital, Nineveh, became synonymous with the grandeur and power. The Assyrians were renowned for their brutal military tactics and their strategic use of fear to subdue and control conquered people. They employed advanced siege technologies, psychological warfare, and a well-organized administrative system to manage a vast empire. During Assyria's dominance, the Kingdom of Israel experienced significant turmoil. The Assyrian King Tiglath Pileser III, Shalmanes V, Sargon II, and Sennacherib played pivotal roles in the conquest and administration of Israel. Tiglath Pileser III initiated the first wave of deportation and implemented policies that weakened Israel's autonomy. Shalmaneser V continued his effort, leading to the final fall of Samaria, Israel's capital. In 722 BCE, Sargon II completed the deportation of the Israelites, further consolidating Assyrian control over the region. The Assyrian conquest of Israel was part of a broader strategy to secure the empire's western frontier and ensure dominance over the vital trade routes that connected Mesopotamia with the Mediterranean. By deporting the population and resettling other conquered people in their place, the Assyrian aimed to disrupt local power structure and create a mosaic of ethnic groups that would be less likely to unite against Assyrian rule. The Impact on Israelite Society the Assyrian exile has profound implications for Israelite society and religion. The deported Israelites face the challenges of preserving their identity in a foreign land, surrounded by different cultures and religions. The loss of their homeland in the temple, the center of their religious life, forced them to adapt their practices and beliefs to new circumstances. In exile, there is the Israelites likely adopted some aspects of Assyrian culture while striving to maintain their distinct religious identity. This period may have been the beginning of the development of synagogues as centers of worship and community life, replacing the central role of the temple. The emphasis on the Torah and the oral traditions of the Israelites likely intensified, providing a means to preserve their heritage and faith in a foreign land. The experience of exile also influenced the theological outlook of the Israelites. The prophets of this period, such as Hosea and Amos, offered interpretations of the exile as divine punishment for Israel's sin, particularly idolatry and social injustice. They called for repentance and a return to covenantal faithfulness, themes that would resonate throughout the Jewish history. Judah under Hezekiah while the northern kingdom of Israel fell to Assyria, the southern kingdom of Judah under King Hezekiah experienced a different fate. Hezekiah, a devout king, implemented significant religious reforms aimed at centralizing worship in Jerusalem and eradicating idolatrous practices. His faithfulness and the prophetic guidance of Isaiah played a crucial role in sparing Judah from the immediate threat of Assyrian conquest. Hezekiah's reign, circa 715 to 686 BCE, was marked by efforts to strengthen Judah's defenses and assert its independence from Assyrian influence. He fortified Jerusalem, built the Siloam Tunnel to secure the city's water supply, and prepared for potential Assyrian aggression. When Sennacherib, the Assyrian king, laid siege to Jerusalem in 701 BCE, Zechariah's faith and Isaiah's prophecies encouraged the people to resist. According to biblical accounts, a miraculous event, often interpreted as a plague, decimated the American, decimated the Assyrian army, forcing Sinatrib to retreat. Hezekiah's successful defense against Assyria reinforced the belief in Judah's divine protection and the legitimacy of Hezekiah's religious reform. 
However, it is clear that Assyria remained a formidable threat and the experience highlighted the precariousness of Judah's position in the regional power dynamic. The Rise of Babylon While Assyria's dominance over the Near East was significant, it was not to last indefinitely. The rise of the Neo-Babylonian Empire under Nebuchadnezzar II would eventually shift the balance of power in the region. The fall of Nineveh in 612 BCE to the coalition of Babylonians, Medes, and Scythians marked the end of the Assyrian supremacy. Babylon's ascent as a dominant power in the Near East was the new threat to Judah. The Babylonians under Nebuchadnezzar II would later conquer Judah, leading to the Babylonian exile, a period of significant transformation and reflection for the Jewish people. This shift in this power dynamic underscored the volatile nature of the ancient Near Eastern political landscape and set the stage for the profound changes that would shape the history and identity of the Jewish people. Second part. Theological Reflections on the Assyrian Exile The Assyrian exile prompted deep theological reflection among the Israelites, prophets, and scribes. The experience of defeat and deportation was interpreted through the lens of covenant theology. Prophets like Hosea and Amos attributed the fall of Israel to its unfaithfulness to the covenant with Adonai. They emphasized themes of judgment, repentance, and the hope of restoration. They in particular used the metaphor of Israel as an unfaithful spouse to illustrate the nation's infidelity to God. Despite the severity of the judgment, Hosea also spoke of God's enduring love and the promise of eventual restoration. Amos, on the other hand, focused on social justice, condemning the exploitation and corruption that pervaded Israelite society. Both prophets called for the return to covenantal faithfulness as a path to redemption. Theological reflections during this period also highlighted the concept of the remnant, a faithful group that would survive the judgment and serve as the foundation for future restoration. This idea would become a significant theme in later Jewish and Christian thought, emphasizing the hope of renewal and the enduring nature of God's covenant with His people. Cultural and Religious Adaptation the Assyrian exile necessitated significant cultural and religious adaptations among the Israelites. Separated from their homeland and the temple, they had to find new ways to practice their faith and maintain their identity. The rise of synagogues, the centers of worship and community life, likely began during this period, providing a space for communal prayer, study, and the preservation of tradition. The emphasis on the Torah and the oral tradition of the Israelites became even more critical. These practices helped the exiled community retain a sense of identity and continuity despite their displacement. The development of these religious institutions and the practices laid the groundwork for the Jewish diaspora communities that would emerge in later centuries. The experience of exile also attributed the experience of exile also contributed to the formation of Jewish eschatological thought. The hope for a future return to the land and the restoration of the Davidic kingdom became central themes in Jewish theology. These ideas were reflected in the prophetic literature and later influenced the development of apocalyptic literature which offered visions of divine intervention and ultimate redemption. The Lasting Legacy of the Assyrian Exile The Assyrian Exile left an indelible mark on Jewish history and identity. It was a period of profound disruption and transformation that reshaped the religious, cultural, and political landscape of the, of the Israelite people. The loss of the Northern Kingdom and the dispersion of the Ten Lost Tribes symbolized the consequences of unfaithfulness to the covenant with God. Despite the hardship, the exile also became time for theological reflection, adaptation, and renewal. The prophetic voices that emerged during the period offered both a critique of past failures and a vision of hope for the future. 
the concept of repentance, restoration, and the remnant provided a framework for understanding the exile and navigating the challenge. The legacy of the Assyrian exile continued to influence Jewish thought and practice for centuries. It serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unfaithfulness and the importance of covenantal loyalty. At the same time, it reinforced the theme of divine mercy and the hope of redemption, which would become central to Jewish and Christian tradition. In conclusion, the Syrian exile was a pivotal event in Jewish history and had far-reaching implications for the Israelite people. It was a time of loss and dispersal, but also a period of profound theological and cultural development. The lessons learned from this experience would continue to reshape the identity and faith of the Jewish people for generations to come. The Babylonian Exile Babylonians Exile Judah 587 BCE The Babylonian Exile was a transformative period in Jewish history marked by the forced deportation of Judah's elite and the catastrophic destruction of Jerusalem and the Temple. The exile began in earnest with the fall of Jerusalem in 587 BCE, an event that signified not only the collapse of the southern kingdom of Judah, but also the profound spiritual and cultural crisis for the Jewish people. The Babylonians under King Nebuchadnezzar II implemented a strategy of deporting the leadership and skilled individuals of Judah to Babylon. Among these exiles were Daniel a member of the Judean nobility who would later become a prominent figure in the Babylonian court. The deportation aimed to weaken Judah's ability to resist Babylonian rule by removing its leaders and potential instigators of rebellion. The destruction of the temple was a particular devastating blow to the Jewish people. The temple was the center of Jewish worship and a symbolic part of their covenantal relationship with God. His destruction signified not only the loss of their most sacred site, but also a perceived rupture in their connection with God. This event forced the Jewish community to re-evaluate the religious practices and beliefs in the absence of the temple. Summary of Babylonian Exile Three Deportations The Babylonian Exile is often associated with the 70 years prophesied in the biblical narrative, which ended in 538 BCE with the decree of Cyrus II of Persia, allowing the Jews to return to their homeland. The exile involved three significant deportations, each marking a crucial phase in the Babylonian subjugation of Judah. 1. First Deportation, 506 BC First deportation occurred after the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BCE, when Nebuchadnezzar defeated the Egyptians and established Babylonian dominance over the region. During this time, members of Judah's elite, including Daniel and his companions, were taken to Babylon. This initial deportation aimed to assert Babylonian control and secure loyalty from Judah by holding his nobility as hostages. Number 2. Second Deportation 597 BCE the second deportation followed the rebellion of King Jehoiakim, who initially submitted to Babylonian rule, but later withheld tribute. In response, Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem in 597 BCE. Upon Jehoiakim's death, his son Jehoiakim surrendered to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar deported King Jehoiakim, his court, and many skilled craftsmen and soldiers. This deportation further weakened Judah's ability to resist Babylonian control and led to the installation of Zedekiah as a puppet king. Number 3. Third Deportation, 586 BCE The third and final deportation occurred after the fall of Jerusalem in 586 BCE. King Zedekiah's rebellion against Babylonian rule resulted in a brutal siege that ended with the capture and destruction of Jerusalem. The temple was burned and the city's walls were turned down. Their deportation saw the removal of the remaining leadership, including Zedekiah, who was blinded and taken to Babylon. The destruction of Jerusalem and the temple marked the complete subjugation of Judah and the climax of the Babylonian exile.
life in Babylonian exile. The Jewish exiles in Babylon faced the challenge of maintaining their identity and faith in a foreign land. Babylon was a bursting metropolis, the center of a vast empire, with a rich and diverse culture that contrasted sharply with the rural and monotheistic society of Judah. Despite these differences, the Jewish exiles found ways to adapt and preserve their tradition. One of the most significant adaptations was the development of synagogue worship. Without a temple, the Jewish community needed new ways to gather for prayer, study, and communal activities. Synagogues became center of religious and social life, providing a space for the exile to maintain their connection to their faith and each other. The emphasis of the Torah and the oral tradition grew stronger as these texts and teachings became the primary means of preserving Jewish identity and religious practice. The prophets of this period, such as Ezekiel and Jeremiah, played crucial roles in guiding the exiled community. Ezekiel himself, among the exiles, provided a message of hope and restoration, assuring the people that God has not abandoned them despite the destruction of the temple. His vision, such as the valley of the dry bones, symbolized the potential for renewal and the promise of return. Prophetic vision and the hope for restoration. The exile prompted profound theological reflection and prophetic visions that offered hope for the future. The prophets emphasized that the exile was a consequence of Judah's unfaithfulness to the covenant with God, but they also proclaimed that the spirit of punishment would not last forever. They envisioned a future where God would restore his people to their land and renew the covenant. Ezekiel prophecies included vivid symbolic visions that provided hope and guidance to the exiles. His vision of the dry bones coming to life represented the restoration of Israel, a promise that God would revive the nation from its state of despair and bring it back to life. Ezekiel also envisioned a new temple and a renewed covenant, emphasizing that the relationship between God and his people would be restored in a future time. Jeremiah remained in Jerusalem until the fall also offered messages of hope. He wrote to the exiles in Babylon, encouraging them to settle down, build homes, and seek the welfare of the only city where they live, as God has not abandoned them. Jeremiah's prophecy of the new covenant, Jeremiah 31, 31-34, foretold a time when God would write his laws on the heart of the people, establishing a deeper and more personal relationship with them. The Influence of Babylonian Culture while in exile, the Jewish community inevitably encountered and interacted with Babylonian culture. This interaction influenced various aspects of Jewish life and thought. Babylon was the center of learning and culture, with advanced knowledge in fields such as astronomy, mathematics, and literature. The exile's exposure to these cultural and intellectual achievements likely contributed to the enrichment of Jewish thought and literature. The Babylonian Talmud, one of the central texts of rabbinic Judaism, reflects the profound impact of Babylonian scholarship on Jewish law and tradition. Although the Talmud was compiled much later, its roots can be traced back to the intellectual environment of the Babylonian exile. The exile's engagement with Babylonian learning helped shape the development of Jewish religious and legal thought. Return and Restoration the end of the Babylonian exile came with the rise of the Persian Empire. In 539 BCE, Cyrus the Great conquered Babylon and issued a decree in 538 BCE, allowing the Jewish exiles to return to their homeland. This event is seen as a fulfillment of the prophetic promises and marked the beginning of restoration of the Jewish community in Judah. Under the leadership of the figures like Jerubabel and jo Joshua, the high priest, the exiles returned to Jerusalem and began the arduous task of rebuilding the temple. The second temple, completed in 515 BCE, became the new center of Jewish worship and a symbol of the restored covenant between God and his people. The period of return and restoration was marked by significant challenges, including opposition from surrounding people and internal struggles. 
but it also represented a renewal of faith and identity. The prophetic vision of the renewed covenant on expression in the post-exilic community effort to reestablish religious and social order according to Torah. Leaders like Ezra and Nehemiah played pivotal roles in this process, emphasizing the importance of adherence to the law and the need for communal solidarity. Theological Implication of the Exile The Babylonian exile had profound theological implication for the Jewish people. It promoted a re-examination of the relationship between God and His people, the nature of divine judgment and mercy, and the importance of faithfulness to the covenant. The experience of exile reinforced the centrality of the Torah and the prophetic message as resources of guidance and hope. The exile also contributed to the development of Jewish eschatological thought with a heightened expectation of a future messianic age. The idea of a restored kingdom under a divinely anointed leader became a central theme in Jewish messianism, influencing later Jewish and Christian belief about the coming of the Messiah. The period of exile and the subsequent return highlighted the resilience and adaptability of the Jewish people. Despite the loss of the, and displacement, may, they maintained their identity and faith, drawing on their religious tradition to navigate the challenges of life in foreign lands. The exile and return narrative became a foundational story for Jewish identity, symbolizing the enduring nature of God's covenant and the hope of redemption. Conclusion The Babylonian exile was a pivotal event in Jewish history, characterized by profound loss, adaptation, and the hope of restoration. The forced deportation, destruction of the temple, and the loss of the temple were traumatic experiences that reshaped the Jewish community's identity and religious practices. The development of synagogue worship the emphasis on the Torah and the prophetic visions of, the peop of, the, uh, uh, of hope and restoration provided a framework for maintaining faith and identity in exile. The end of the exile, the Persian decree, and the subsequent return to Judah marked a significant turning point, symbolizing the fulfillment of prophetic promises and the beginning of new chapter in Jewish history. The theological reflections and the adaptation during the exile period had lasting impact on Jewish thought and practices, reinforcing the themes of covenant, judgment, and redemption that continue to resonate in Jewish and Christian tradition today. Life in Exile Character of the Exile the Babylonian exile was a period of profound trauma and transformation for the Jewish people. The forced deportation from their homeland, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the obliteration of the temple deeply affected their national and religious identity. Uprooted from their familiar surroundings, the exiles had to navigate life in foreign lands under Babylonian rule, where they were subjected to new laws and customs and religious practices. Living in Babylon presented numerous challenges. The exile had to adapt to a highly advanced and cosmopolitan society that was vastly different from their own. Babylon was a hub of commerce, culture, and learning, characterized by its impressive architecture, including the famous Hanging Garden. The Jewish exiles found themselves in a society that valued different gods and cultural norms, which often uh, clashed with... Uh, their own monotheistic belief and practices. The displacement also meant a loss of social and political structures that had defined Jewish life in Judah. The monarchy, the new priesthood, and the centralized worship at uh, the temple were all disrupted. The exiles had to find new ways to organize their community, maintain their traditions, and preserve their identity in a context where they were a minority with limited power and influence. Psychological and spiritual impact. The psychological act of the exile was immense. The sense of loss and dislocation permeated the exile's consciousness. They mourned the loss of their homeland and the destruction of the temple, which was not just a physical structure, but a spiritual center for their faith. The exilic 
Adam and Lamech in the Hebrew Bible express this profound sense of grief and yearning for return. Psalm 137, for example, poignantly captures the sorrow and longing of the exile. By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down and wept, when we remembered Zion, all the willows there we hung upon our flyers. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? Psalm 137, 1 to 4. Spiritually, the exile promote, prompted a crisis of faith for many Jews. The destruction of the temple and the experience of defeat and humiliation led some to question God's presence and faithfulness. However, it also becomes a time of deep theological reflection and renewal. Prophets like Ezekiel and Jeremiah provided an interpretation of the exile as a result of Israel's unfaithfulness, but also offered a message of hope and restoration, emphasizing that God's covenant with Israel was enduring and that the exile was a temporary state. Social Adaptation and Community Life In response to the new circumstances, the Jewish exiles began to develop practices and practices that allowed them to maintain a cohesive community. One of the most significant developments during the exile was the rise of synagogue worship. Without the temple, synagogues became center for prayer, study, and community gathering. These local assemblies provide a space for Jews to practice their faith, read the Torah, and support one another, thus preserving their religious and cultural identity in a foreign land. The synagogue served multiple functions. It was a place of worship, a school for teaching the Torah, a community center for social and charitable activities. This shift from temple-centric worship to local gatherings facilitated greater participation and exclusivity, allowing the exile community to stay connected with their faith and each other despite their displacement. The rise of dietary laws and importance of the Torah. To preserve their identity, the exiles placed a strong emphasis on adhering to dietary laws and the Torah. The dietary laws, which had always been a part of Jewish religious practice, took on heightened significance in exile. Observing kashrut, kosher dietary laws, became a way for the Jewish community to maintain a distinct identity and resist assimilation into Babylonian society. By adhering to these laws, they demonstrated their commitment to God's commandment and reinforced their sense of belonging to a unique covenantal community. The Torah also assumed a central role in the life of the exiles. With the loss of the temple, the study and observance of the Torah became the primary means through which Jews expressed their faith and maintained their cultural identity. The Torah provided not only religious guidance, but also a legal and ethical framework that helped the structure of their daily life and communal interaction. It became the source of spiritual sustenance and a symbol of hope and eventual return and restoration. Prophetic Guidance and Theological Reflection The prophets played a crucial role in guiding the exile community and offering theological reflection on their situation. Ezekiel himself in exile in Babylon provided visions and messages that address the spiritual and moral state of the exile. The emphasis that the exile was a consequence of Israel's sins but also assured people of God's continued presence and the promise of redemption. His vision of the dry bones coming to life symbolized the potential national rebirth and renewal. Jeremiah, who remained in Jerusalem until Paul, responded with the exile, offering counsel and encouragement. He urged them to seek the welfare of the city where they were settled, to build homes, plant gardens, and raise families. Jeremiah's letter to the exile, Jeremiah 29, conveyed God's message that the exile will last for 70 years, but he had plans for their welfare and a future of hope. This message helped the exiles to accept their situation and work towards creating a stable and thriving community in Babylon. Cultural and intellectual exchange Living in Babylon exposes Jewish exiles to a rich and diverse cultural and intellectual environment. Babylon was a center of learning and the scholarship and the exiles the opportunity to engage with Babylonian knowledge and culture. 
the interaction influences Cubist thought and practice, contributing to the development of Cubist uh, literature and legal tradition. The Babylonian Talmud, one of the central texts of rabbinic Judaism, reflects the intellectual exchange that occurred during and after the exile. Although the Talmud was compiled much later, the root can be traced back to the scholarly environment of Babylon. The exile's engagement with Babylonian legal and philosophical tradition helped shape the development of Jewish religious and legal thought. Maintaining identity in a foreign land Despite the challenges of exile, the Jewish community found ways to maintain their identity and pass it on to future generations. Family and community life played a crucial role in this process. Jewish families continued to observe religious rituals, celebrate the festivals, and teach their children the bad tradition, tradition and stories of their people. The emphasis on education and the transmission of the Torah helped ensure that the next generation would remain connected to their heritage. The Jewish community also maintained a strong sense of solidarity and mutual support. Charity and communal responsibility were emphasized with wealthier members of the community providing for the, those in need. This sense of unity and shared purpose helped the exiles to withstand the pressure of life in a foreign land and to maintain their distinct identity. Theological implication and scatological hope. The experience of the exile has profound theological implication for the Jewish people. It promoted the re-examination of their relationship with God, the nature of divine judgment and mercy, and the importance of faithfulness to the covenant. The exile underscored the consequences of disobedience, but also highlighted God's enduring commitment to his people and the possibility of redemption. The prophetic message during the exile often included eschatological hope, visions of a future time when God would re restore Israel, bring about justice and establish an everlasting kingdom. These rules were articulated in the writings of prophets like Ezekiel and Daniel, who envisioned a new covenant and a restored Jerusalem. The idea of a messianic cage where a divinely righteous, divinely anointed leader would uh, bring peace and righteousness become a central theme in Jewish eschatology. Conclusion Life in exile was a period of profound challenge and adaptation for the Jewish people. Uprooted from their homeland and stripped of their national and religious identity, they faced the task of persevering their faith and culture in foreign land. The rise of the synagogue worship, emphasized on the dietary law, the Torah, and the guidance of the prophet help the exiles maintain their identity and hope for the future. Despite this hardship, the exile also became a time for theological reflection and renewal. Public vision of hope and uh, restoration provided a framework for understanding the exile and navigating its challenges. The cultural and intellectual exchanges in Babylon enriched Jewish thought and contributed to the development of Jewish religious and legal traditions. The experience of exile reinforced the centrality of the Torah and the importance of community and family life, maintaining Jewish identity. It also laid the groundwork for the eschatological hope and the theological reflection that could continue to shape Jewish thought and practice for generations to come. The legacy of the Babylonian exile remains a foundational story in Jewish history, symbolizing a reliance with faith and its enveloping hope of redemption. Prophecies and Vision Book of Daniel, Apocalyptic Vision The Book of Daniel is a cornerstone of apocalyptic literature within the Hebrew Bible, blending historical narrative with prophetic vision. The stories within Daniel illustrate God's supremacy over earthly powers and His sovereign control over the course of history. The apocalyptic visions uh, in the book, forecast the rise and fall of empires and the eventual establishment of God's eternal kingdom, offering hope and encouragement to the Jewish people during and after this exile. Nebuchadnezzar's dream and the five kingdoms. 
One of the most notable visions in the book of Daniel is King Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a great statue described in Daniel 2. This dream features a statue made of various materials, a head of gold, chest and arms of silver, belly and thighs of bronze, legs of iron, and feet partly of iron and partly of clay. A rock not cut by human hands strikes the statue on its feet, shattering it to pieces, while the rock grows into a mountain that fills the whole earth. Daniel interprets this dream, explaining that the statue represents the succession of kingdom. The head of gold symbolizes Nebuchadnezzar's Babylonian Empire. The silver represents the Medo-Persian Empire. The bronze denotes the Greek Empire, and the iron symbolizes the Roman Empire. The feet of iron mixed with clay represents a divided kingdom, partly strong and partly brittle. The rock signifies God's kingdom, which will cross all of these earthly kingdoms and endure forever. This vision conveys the message that human empires are transient, but God's kingdom is eternal and indestructible. Daniel's Vision of the Four Beasts Another critical vision is found in Daniel 7 where Daniel sees four great beasts emerging from the sea. These beasts symbolize four successive empires. Number one, a lion with eagle's wings representing the Babylonian Empire. The wings are plucked off and the lion is made to stand in two feet like a man and given a human mind, symbolizing Nebuchadnezzar's humbling and restoration. Number two, a bear raised up on one side with three ribs on his mouth, symbolizing the Medo-Persian Empire, known for his voracious conquest. Third, a leopard with four wings and four heads, representing the Greek Empire under Alexander the Great, known for his swift and extensive conquest. Fourth, a terrifying and powerful beast with iron teeth and ten horns, symbolizing the Roman Empire, known for its strength and destructive power. An eleventh Horn representing a future ruler emerges speaking arrogantly and waging war against the saints. In this vision, Daniel also sees one like a son of man coming into the clouds of heaven who is given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that will never be destroyed. This figure represents the messianic ruler, often interpreted as Jesus Christ in Christian theology. The vision emphasizes the ultimate victory of God's kingdom over all earthly powers and the establishment of a just and eternal rule. The 70 Week Prophecy In Daniel 9, the prophecy of the 70 weeks provides a timeline for the coming of the Messiah and the culmination of God's redemptive plan. According to the prophecy, 70 weeks of or set of 7 years, 490 years, are decreed for the people and the holy city to finish transgression put an end to sin, atone for iniquity, bring in everlasting righteousness, seal both vision and profit, and anoint the most holy place. This prophecy is complex and has been the subject of much interpretation. Many scholars and theologians see it as a pointing to the period from the decree to rebuild Jerusalem to the coming of Jesus Christ and his redemptive work. The prophecy underscores God's control over history and his plan for ultimate redemption and restoration. The Vision of the Ram and the Goat In Daniel 8, another vision involves a ram with two horns representing the Medo-Persian Empire and a goat with a prominent horn symbolizing the Greek Empire under Alexander the Great. The goat's horn is broken and four smaller horns replace it, representing the division of Alexander's empire among his four generals. A little horn emerges from one of these symbolizing a future ruler who will persecute God's people. This vision further illustrates the rise and fall of empires and the ongoing conflict between divine and earthly powers. Ezekiel's Message The book of Ezekiel is rich with prophetic visions and messages, emphasizing themes of judgment, repentance, and restoration. Ezekiel, as prophet, priest, exiled to Babylon, brought a message that combines stark warnings with profound hope. His prophecies often used vivid and symbolic imagery to convey God's displeasure with Israel's sins and his promise of future redemption. 
the role of shepherd. In Ezekiel 34, God condemns the leaders of Israel, described as the shepherds, for failing to care for their flock. These shepherds have exploited and neglected the people, leading them astray. God declares that he himself will become the shepherd of his people, taking the lost, bringing back the stray, binding up the injured, and strengthening the weak. This promise foreshadows the coming of Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, who would care for his people with compassion and justice. The Vision of the Dry Bones One of Ezekiel's most famous vision is the parry of the dry bone, Ezekiel 37. In this vision, Ezekiel is taken to a valley filled with dry bones, representing the people of Israel in their state of exile and spiritual death. God commands Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones, and as he does, the bones come together. Flesh and skin cover them, and the breath enters them, bringing them to life. This vision symbolizes the resurrection and restoration of Israel, promising that God will bring his people back to their land and renew them spiritually. The New Temple in the River of Life Ezekiel later chapters, 40-48, contain detailed vision of a new temple and a restored Jerusalem. These chapters describe the measurement and design of the temple, the return of God's glory to it, and the renewal of proper worship. Ezekiel also envisions the river flowing from the temple, bringing life and healing wherever it goes. This river symbolizes the transformative power of God's presence, which will restore and renew the land and its people. The Judgment on the Nation Ezekiel prophecies also include judgment against the nations surrounding Israel. These oracles condemn the pride and wickedness of nations like Syria, Egypt, and Edom, predicting their downfall and demonstrating God's sovereignty over all nations. These judgments serve as a reminder that God's justice extends beyond Israel and that He holds all nations accountable for their actions. The Promise of a New Heart and Spirit Ezekiel 36 contains a profound promise of spiritual renewal for Israel. God declares that He will gather His people from the nations, cleanse them from their impurities, and give them a new heart and a new spirit. He will remove the heart of stone and replace it with the heart of flesh, putting His spirit within them to move them to follow His decrees. This promise points to the transformative work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers a theme that resonates throughout both Jewish and Christian theology. Theological Implications of the Prophecies and Vision The prophecies and visions in Daniel and Ezekiel have profound theological implications. They emphasize God's sovereignty over history. His commitment to justice is planned for redemption and restoration. The apocalyptic nature of these visions provide a cosmic perspective on the struggles and hope of the Jewish people assuring them that God's purposes will ultimately prevail. God's Sovereignty and Human History The visions in Daniel and Ezekiel underscores that God is in control of human history. The rise and fall of empire, the judgment of the nation, and the promise of restoration all occur according to His divine plan. His assurance of God's sovereignty offers comfort and hope to the exiles reminding them that despite their current suffering, God has not abandoned them and in working towards their ultimate redemption. The Messianic Hope The prophecies of a coming ruler, often interpreted as the Messiah, provide a focal point for Jewish Catholological hope. The figure of one like a son of man in Daniel and the good shepherd in Ezekiel point to a future leader who will establish justice, peace, and God's eternal kingdom. This messianic expectation profoundly influenced Jewish and Christian thought, shaping the belief in a future deliverer who will fulfill God's promises. The Promise of Restoration and Renewal The visions of restoration in Ezekiel, particularly the dry bones and the new temple, highlight God's commitment to renewing His people, both physically and spiritually. The promise of a new heart and spirit speaks to the transformative power of God's grace which will enable his people to live in faithfulness and obedience. These themes resonate with Christian's concept of regeneration through the Holy Spirit, 
illustrating the continuity between Jewish and Christian understanding of God's redemptive work. Conclusion The prophetic vision of the book of Daniel and Ezekiel offer a rich tapestry of themes that address the immediate concern of the declared Jewish community and provide enduring theological insight. They emphasize God's sovereignty, the transience of earthly powers, and the promise of a future kingdom characterized by justice and peace. These visions have left a lasting legacy in both Jewish and Christian traditions, offering hope and assurance that God's purposes will ultimately prevail. Through the apocalyptic imagery and profound messages of this prophet, the Jewish exiles found a framework for understanding their suffering and a vision for their future restoration and renewal. Conclusion of the Exile Third Deportation and the Fall of Jerusalem, 587 BCE The Third Deportation and the Fall of Jerusalem in 587 BCE marked the tragic climax of the Babylonian exile. King Zedekiah, ill-fated rebellion against Babylonian rule, led to the city's destruction, fulfilling the dire prophecies of judgment pronounced by Jeremiah and other prophets. These events have far-reaching consequences, both immediate and enduring for the Jewish people. The siege and destruction of Jerusalem King Zedekiah, installed as a prophet king by Nebuchadnezzar, attempted to assert Judah's independence by rebelling against Babylon. This rebellion prompted Nebuchadnezzar to lay siege to Jerusalem in 589 BCE. The siege lasted for two years leading to severe famine and suffering within the city. The Babylonian breached the city walls in 587 BCE, setting the city ablaze and destroying the temple, the royal palace and other significant structures. The temple's destruction was a devastating blow to the Jewish people as it was the center of their worship and the symbol of God's presence among them. The destruction of Jerusalem and the temple was not merely a military defeat, but a profound spiritual crisis. It signified the loss of the promised land, the cessation of the sacrificial system, and a perceived rupture in the covenantal relationship with God. The fall of Jerusalem fulfilled Jeremiah's prophecies which warned that Judah's persistent and faithfulness and social injustices would lead to such a calamity. The deportation of Zedekiah and the people. Following the city's fall, King Zedekiah was captured while attempting to flee. He was brought before Nebuchadnezzar, who executed Zedekiah's sons before his eyes, and then blinded him, leading him to Babylon in chains. This brutal treatment fulfilled the prophecy that Zedekiah would be taken to Babylon, but would never see it. The third deportation involved the removal of many more inhabitants, including the remaining leaders, priests, and skilled workers, leaving behind only the poorest in the land to tend to the fields and vineyards. This final deportation completed the Babylonian strategy of dismantling the social and political structure of Judah, ensuring that any potential for organized resistance was thoroughly eliminated. Theological Reflection on the Exile The exile was a period of profound theological reflection for the Jewish people. The destruction of the temple and the loss of the land prompted questions about God's justice, the nature of the covenant, and the reasons for their suffering. The prophetic writings from this period provide insight into the theological and spiritual development that occurred during the exile. Understanding Divine Judgment The prophets interpreted the exile as a manifestation of God's judgment for the people's sin, particularly idolatry, social justice, and covenant unfaithfulness. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and others emphasized that exile was not a sign of God's abandonment, but a corrective measure designed to lead the people back to righteousness. This perspective provides a framework for understanding the suffering and maintaining hope for future restoration. Ezekiel visions and prophecies offered a detailed diagnosis of Israel's spiritual failures and a call for repentance. His symbolic act and vivid imagery illustrated the consequences of sin and the necessity of a transformed heart and spirit. Ezekiel's message of individual responsibility and the promise of a new heart and spirit highlighted the possibility of renewal even in the midst of judgment. The Hope of Restoration Despite the harsh realities of the exile, the 
prophets also conveyed messages of hope and restoration. They assured the people that God remained faithful to his covenant and that the exile would not be an end to their story. Prophecies of a new covenant, a restored temple, and a return to the land provided a vision of a future where God's promises would be fulfilled. Jeremiah's prophecy of a new covenant, Jeremiah 31, 31 to 34, promised a time when God would write his laws on the hearts of the people, ensuring a deep and personal relationship with him. This new covenant would be characterized by forgiveness, intimate knowledge of God, and a renewed commitment to his way. This prophecy pointed to a future where the failures of the past would be overcome through a transformative divine intervention. Ezekiel Vision of Restoration Ezekiel's vision of the valley of the dry bones, Ezekiel 37, powerfully symbolizes the hope of national resurrection. The vision depicted the Spirit of God breathing life into the dry bones, bringing them to life as a mighty army. This vision conveyed the message that God would restore the nation of Israel, bringing them back to their land and reviving them spiritually. Ezekiel's subsequent vision of the new temple, Ezekiel 40 to 48, provided a detailed and idealized picture of the restored worship and the renewed presence of God among his people. The Role of Leadership in Restoration The post-exilic period saw the rise of new leaders who displayed crucial roles in the restoration of the Jewish community. Figures like Tirubabel, Adzai, and Nehemiah were instrumental in the rebuilding of the temple and the establishment of the Jewish community in Jerusalem. These leaders, inspired by prophetic visions and supported by the Persian authorities, guide the people in reconstructing their physic- physical and spiritual life. Ezra, a scribe and priest, emphasized the importance of the Torah and covenantal faithfulness. His effort to teach the Torah and implement the principles helped shape the religious identity of the post-exilic community. Nehemiah, the governor, focused on rebuilding the city walls and reforming the community's social and religious practices. Together, these leaders facilitated the transition from exile to restoration, drawing the prophetic promises of renewed and divine support. Conclusion The exile was a period of profound punishment and transformation for the Jewish people. The third deportation and the fall of Jerusalem marked the culmination of the Babylonian exile, fulfilling the prophecies of judgment for Judah's sin. However, the exile also became a time of deep, theological reflection and renewal as the prophet provided hope and foresight into the reasons behind the exile and the eventual restoration. The experiences and messages from this period continue to resonate in Jewish and Christian faith, emphasizing the importance of faithfulness, repentance, and the promise of redemption. The prophetic vision of Daniel and Ezekiel offers a cosmic perspective on the struggle and hope of the Jewish people assuring them that God's purposes would ultimately prevail. These visions have a lasting legacy, shaping the eschatological hope and theological reflection of both traditions. Symbolism and the Messages of the Exile The symbolism and the messages from the exile period underscore the transient nature of earthly powers and the enduring sovereignty of God. The rise and fall of empires depicted in Daniel's vision and the promise of a future kingdom, as seen in Ezekiel prophecies, highlight the ultimate victory of God's eternal kingdom. These themes offer hope and assurance that despite the trial and tribulation of history, God's redemptive plan will be fulfilled. The Enduring Hope of Redemption The hope of redemption, central to the messages of the prophet, continue to inspire faith and perseverance. The vision of a new covenant, a restored temple, and the resurrection of the dry bones all point a future where God's promises are realized. This enduring hope has sustained the Jewish people through subsequent challenges and has also profoundly influenced Christian eschatology, emphasizing the anticipation of messianic age and the ultimate fulfillment of God's kingdom. The Legacy of the Exile The exile's legacy is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Jewish people. Despite the profound loss and displacement, they maintain their faith develop new religious practices, and preserve their identity. The exile period also contributed to the theological and literary richness of the Hebrew Bible, providing a foundation for subsequent Jewish and Christian thought. 
the lessons of the exile period, faithfulness to God, the necessity of repentance, the necessity of repentance, and the hope of restoration remain relevant for both Jewish and Christian communities today. The prophetic vision and messages continue to offer guidance and inspiration, reminding believers of the enduring nature of God's covenant and the promise of redemption. In conclusion, the Babylonian exile was a pivotal event in Jewish history, marked by a profound suffering and significant transformation. The third deportation, the fall of Jerusalem, fulfilled prophetic warning, but also set the stage for a period of theological reflection, hope for future restoration. The messages and the visions of the prophets from this time continue to resonate, offering timeless insight into the nature of God's sovereignty, justice, and redemptive plan. Thank you for joining us in this episode of the Bible, a canonical reading, where we explore the significance of events surrounding the exile of Israel and Judah. We delve into the fall of the kingdoms to Assyria and Babylon, the reasons behind their exile, and the powerful messages of hope, repentance, and restoration, delivered by the prophets like Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Remember the lessons from the exile, faithfulness, repentance, and renewal are central themes that continue to resonate today. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode, The Return from Exile, where we will examine the fulfillment of God's promises and the journey of the exiles back to their homeland, marking a pivotal moment of spiritual and communal renewal. Until then, may you reflect on the enduring hope of redemption, and may your faith be strengthened by the insights we've shared. See you in the next episode.